Good to see you this morning. Oh, you're rolling in. It's great to have you here on this Memorial Day holiday weekend. Yes, it even feels like the summer outside, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. If you're watching online, we welcome you too. Thank you for um, just participating with us this morning. And um, we're in our days of prayer. And today is day 36. Day 36. And I know you got your email this morning. Yes. Yes, what a powerful 36 days of prayer that we've had as we've gathered together um, just to seek the Lord and open our hearts to what he might have for us. And um, just felt so encouraged this morning and just felt so much power as I read this morning that verse that says that with God, there is nothing that is impossible. With him, all things are possible. Amen. Amen. Well, let's go ahead and stand together. Maybe say hi to somebody, yell out to them across the aisle, grab them, give them a hug, and let's worship together this morning.
Enthroned upon my heart, oh God Jesus, take your place Receive the fullness of your reward Fire and fragrance to your name Be enthroned on the songs of love Crown you with many crowns, seated on the throne above, where all the saints and angels bow. Cause you are worth it all, Jesus, you are worth it all. Sing from the rising to the setting of the sun. From the rising to the setting sun. Every tribe and tongue will praise. Forever sing to the worthy one. He's the name. The name that is above all names. From the rising. From the rising to setting sun every tribe and tongue will praise forever sing to the worthy one the name that is above all names the name that is above all names
Jesus, you, you're worth it all. You are worth it all. Jesus, you are worth it all. You're worth it all. Come on, just tell him. You're worth it all, be enthroned, God. Be enthroned, God. You're worthy of it all. You are worthy of it all. For from you are all things. To you are all things, you deserve the glory. You are worthy of it all. You are worthy of it all. For from you are all things, and to you are all the glory. Come on, let's just tell him this morning he's worthy, worthy of it all. We lift you up, Jesus. You are worthy of it all. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. seconds let's go we lift you up Jesus highest praises highest praises be enthroned be enthroned highest praises Of our hearts, 
Jesus, you're the king and you're the center of it all. Sing it again, Jesus. And Jesus, enthroned upon the praises of our hearts. Jesus, you're the king and you're the center of it all. There is a name. There is a name. Who reigns without contention. Whose power can't be questioned or contained. With humble faith. Rules the earth and heavens, his glory knows no measure or refrain. And it's bursting past the borderlines of space. Jesus, and Jesus, enthroned upon the praises of our hearts. You're the king and you're the center of it all. There is a name. There is a name. We're reaching past the margins. We're calling sons and daughters back to him. And as he saves, we can hear the roar of heaven. Prodigals are coming home again. Oh, the triumph of his name. the king and you're the center of it all. Oh, Jesus, enthroned upon the praises of our hearts. And Jesus, you're the king and you're the center of You're the king and you're the 
Let's go ahead and praise Him. Let's go ahead and praise Him. Come on, let's go ahead. Let's really praise Him. Let's praise Him like we believe He is who He says He is. Let's praise Him like He's El Shaddai. Let's praise Him like He's Jehovah Rapha. Come on. Let's praise Him like we believe it. Let's praise Him like we believe it all. We believe everything the Bible says. We believe it all. You are worthy, God. You are worthy. You are worthy of praise. You are the restorer. You're the redeemer. We praise you, God. We praise you, God. You're the healer. You're my deliverer. Hallelujah. I'm getting ready to know you as more things than what I've known you as before, Lord. I'm getting ready to know you as more than just my Savior. Hallelujah. I'm getting ready to know you, God, as my deliverer, as my restorer. Come on. Let's act like we really believe it. Come on, break out in this place. It's a praise today. We're here to celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And this isn't hype. I want to sincere praise and honor and glory to the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I felt very strongly this morning. The Lord just, just impressed upon my heart that the enemy is doing everything he can right now to you. To bring you into a place where he can destroy you. Everything he can right now into a place where he can devour you. No, this is the enemy. The enemy is doing everything he can to bring sadness into your life. To, to, to bring you to a place of such discouragement and despondency that you are not ready for what God is about to do. The enemy is doing everything he can to get you into a place that you are just so dark and you are so down. And I really felt very strongly this, this is what the enemy is up to. And to just tell you, if you have felt despondent, if you have felt discouraged, if you have felt sadness like never before in the last couple of weeks, to tell you the enemy is a stinking liar. He is a liar. He is trying to deceive you. He is trying to deceive you. He is working overtime right now. While you are asleep, a dark cloud comes over and just discouraging thoughts come upon you. You wake up in the morning, you don't even know why you're feeling down. I'm telling you, the enemy is working right now. Now, the good news is also that God wants you to see that today and it's breaking off today. I mean, you might, I don't care what you can, it's, it's off today. It's coming off today. You will walk out of here different than you came in. And I'm not just a voice of hype and a crazy woman. I am telling you, I felt this in the spirit today. God is saying, wake up and get ready. Get ready, get ready. And I, and I just send the enemy just into a spirit of confusion even right now. But I felt very strongly the Lord is, is, is putting a word on me. And I don't know, it might be next Sunday. And I think, I think it probably is to just talk about you about this getting ready thing. There are some people that, that, that are caught off guard when God moves. God does not want that for you. He wants you to be on the cutting edge. He wants you to be ready to run and to move with Him. There were some people going to have to go and get their business together and try, to, and try to get ready. And God is saying, get in His Word. Get into a place of prayer. Get into a place that when, when I move, that you jump and you are at the forefront. You are the head and not the tail. But there has to be a preparation in your life at this time. Because when God moves, it's not going to be like, okay, you, you can see him coming. It is in a blink of an eye, God is going to move. And those that are ready to move with him will be on the forefront of a move of God that is coming. But there will be others that are left behind and some that are so completely taken off guard that they are just run the other way. They don't even recognize what God is doing. But God wants you ready so that you can see and hear. And His Spirit is moving and trying to get you to move. The reason why you're waking up in the middle of the night is because God's saying, hey, come be with me. Because I want to share some things in the secret place with you. I want to share my secrets with you so that you are ready when I move. Okay? So just, I'm just telling you, 
you, you know what I'm saying. It resonates with you because you're like, yeah, I've been feeling that. And yes, I've experienced the liar. And I've experienced him coming and trying to deceive and work in my life. And, and just tell me it's not going to happen. And try to prophesy hopelessness over my life. I'm telling you that God is a great God. He is faithful. He is faithful. He will do what he said he will do in your life. He will restore. He will redeem. He will deliver. He will heal. And when he moves, he moves swiftly. And there's always some people knocked off their feet because they're not ready. But I'm telling you, you are going to be ready. Because this word today, you're receiving it. And those of you receiving it is not hype. As this is God is speaking to me. And I'm, I'm going to get ready. So God, I pray for the spirit to come on them. God, I pray for a spirit of readiness. God, the spirit of Jehu to hit this house. God, that these people are ready to move with you. They are not deceived by the enemy. They will not lose hope, but instead the opposite is going to happen. What the enemy has been prophesying is as death and doom and gloom. Today, God, shift their mindset to that place of readiness, God. Shift them into a place of readiness to move with you, to not be deceived by the enemy, but to see what God is doing and to go in that direction, not the other directions, not the other options. We've got one direction, and that is the right direction with God. And we fix our eyes on Jesus and what he's doing and in our lives and what he's doing in this church. And I felt like, too, to tell you, you move with the body. You just, it's a Lone Ranger thing. You gotta be in a church where you can sow seed, where you can experience a harvest. God doesn't want a bunch of Lone Rangers out there. He puts you in a body of believers. So choose who you're gonna journey with, stick to it, be faithful in it. Um, this is the last day of our 36 days of prayer. But I want out of this, whether you prayed one of these days of prayer, I want now you to shift and begin to move with God. Begin to move with God. Get up in the morning. Read a passage of scripture. Pray. Believe that God is going to do the thing you've been waiting on. I don't care if you've been waiting on 10 years. He's about to do it. And you better be ready. You need to be ready. You got to be ready for it. So the 36th day of prayer, today's prayer, I thought maybe we could pray it together. I don't know if they can get it up on the screen. Are we, is it possible? If not, you can just repeat after me. This is, this is our prayer for today that concludes the 36 impossible believing for the possible, right? Ah, I see it. Okay. Let's do this together. Today, I ask that you would do the impossible in my family, my church, and the city of Winston-Salem. Give me your heart for those that are far from you, and may they see the impossible become possible because of you. Amen. Amen. You believe it? Amen. Believe it with all your heart today. Tell somebody near you today, you believe it, all right? Say, I believe it. I believe everything he said. I believe what the Lord has promised.